No, I'm falling into another dimension. Ah! Hello, buddies of the internet. It's Quiet Unicorn. Hey, buddies, you guys are watching Quiet Unicorn. I really hope that you like the school uniform that I'm wearing today. I'm wearing it because we're in school. Hi, I'm Max, and I'm gonna help you escape. We need to pull a lever to get out of here. Okay, um, I haven't actually been in many schools where you needed to pull a lever to get out of a room, but you know what? Sometimes every school is different, so I'm gonna, okay, no, never mind. This is not normal. There should not be a giant hole in the floor of the school. What's going on, Max? Wow, look, be careful. There's lava in here. Okay, yeah, no, that's, that's okay. We've definitely taken a plunge into the unknown. Okay, I don't know about you guys. I have never seen a school with lava in it before. It's like, what happens if I catch on fire? Just be really careful, because I don't want to catch on fire. Okay, and there are also UFOs and bones in the wall. Okay, I think that we've established that this is not your average school, and we are going to need to be really, really careful the entire time we're in here. <laughs> Okay, what's happening here? Uh, don't touch the water. I'm serious, the last guy blew up when he did that. He blew up? What if I blow up? What if I blew up right now? Just like. Okay, I'm glad that didn't happen. All right, um, okay, so we just have some lasers to get through. Some of you guys might be thinking, I actually think that I recognize this obby. This is an updated version of the Fat Paps escape the school obby. So it's actually, it actually looks like it's pretty different than the last time I did that, but did this obby? Oh, well, our class is looking messy. Yeah, get to the top door over there. All right, I will do my best. Our class is looking pretty bizarre, actually. Why are there so many giant things in this room? Anyway, so yeah, this is an updated version of the escape the school obby. So if you guys want to play this game on Roblox, all you got to do is search for escape the school and you should be able to find it. Um, so thank you so much to all the people that let me know that there was an update on this obby. I'm super, super stoked to be playing this obby once more. Okay, what, what, what's happening in here? We have to go into the staff lounge? <gasps> but it's not allowed. It's forbidden. All right. Um, the doors are locked. Uh-oh. We, we, must, we must find somewhere to hide or get out. Or, okay, this, this guy with the present on his head's got the right idea. Could it be one of these lockers? Maybe one of these opens up and we can, we can hide, hide in there. Did someone just disappear into the fridge? Okay, I am also going into the fridge. Hello? Can I come into the... Whoa, okay, we're in a fridge. <gasps> oh my gosh. Let's hide in the fridge while the teachers are on break. This is genius. Except it's it's really cold in here. Guys, I don't know if we, it, I don't know if we anticipated just how <gasps> cold it was going to be in here. <sighs> what if I turn into an ice cube? What if I get colder and colder and colder and finally turn into an ice cube? Okay, well, hopefully that is not what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna climb up the side of this carton of milk and figure out what we need to do next. And oh my gosh, somebody left an entire rotisserie chicken in the refrigerator. Oh my gosh, come on, teachers. <gasps> Ooh. Sorry, that guy got that guy got wasted. He fell into the ice and died. I was lucky. I fell onto the side. Can I not climb up here? No. Okay, have to go all the way back down. All right, so if you guys think that the fridge is a pretty weird place to hide from your teachers, make sure to give this video a thumbs up because I think it is really bizarre. Like, I mean, kind of a cool idea if there's room in the fridge, but most people can't like shrink down to the size of like half of a sandwich. Like I apparently have. All right, so we gotta get out of here and I'm a little bit confused about how we do it. So I'm just gonna keep jumping over the slats of the refrigerator here. It's like, do we go right at the sandwich or left at the sandwich? Do we go around the outside of this strawberry chocolate cake? I really am not sure. Okay, I'm gonna go around. Oh, you can go on top of the sandwich. Oh my gosh, genius. Okay, so we are heading up this uh, carton of milk up here and oh my gosh, somebody has left. <gasps> somebody has left some peanut butter in the fridge. It's a bit weird. Do you guys keep peanut butter in the fridge? <gasps> okay. All right, so I think that I see, I think that I see the escape room. Okay, we need to go for that set of stairs and then I really think that we are gonna be able to get out of here. That's a s'more. Who left a s'more in the refrigerator? That's just weird. Okay, so I think that we are gonna make it out of here alive. All right, so I just need to jump on top of these bottles and oh no. No. Oh my gosh, what? Whatever, that looks like bubble gum. Did somebody seriously? I don't believe this. I don't believe that a teacher seriously put like chewed up gross 
bubble gum and like strung it all over the inside of the fridge and just like left it there. Like that is, that is, that's just, that's so gross. <laughs> okay, I, I mean, it's like, I just don't, I just don't know anyone who would do that. Like, I, 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 I don't know. Okay, so um, I need to get out of this fridge as soon as humanly possible because it is starting to freak me out. I've I've stepped on bubble gum. I had to go around the outside of a rotisserie chicken. I had to jump all over somebody's sandwich. Like this has not been this has not been a great time for me so far. So um, I really just feel like I need to get out of the fridge. All right, so oh, it's like a checkpoint in the middle of nowhere. Okay. All right, so oh no. <gasps> Oh my gosh, someone broke some eggs up here and this one is rotting. That is, that is nasty. Okay, we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta get out of here. Jump on these eggshells. I'm glad that they are supporting my weight. And then, where do we go over? Oh, oh no. I died in the fridge. <gasps> that is the last thing this fridge needs. Like this fridge is disgusting enough already without me just like dying on it. Like that's not, that's not what it needs. All right, so look, that is the exit there, and it looks like we need to go. So those are the stairs. We need to go around the top. There's another set of stairs over there. Okay, we're good, we're good. We've got a plan. All you need to have is a plan, and my plan is to jump on all of these eggs and hope that they don't crack, and then get over here. It looks like I'm running on nothing. <gasps> and get up these stairs, or this ladder, whatever you wanna call it. All right, so we are doing good so far. Have you guys realized that we don't actually know why we're trying to escape the school? Like usually there's like a reason. It's like a teacher's gone crazy, the principal's gone crazy or something like that. But this one, Max, like our friend at the beginning there was just like, yeah, we're escaping. Make sure to escape. And it's like, I'm not even sure why. I'm gonna go with it. All right, so I exited out of the fridge. It looks like all of the teachers have finished their break, so we just need to uh, keep keep escaping. Max says, whoa, that is one giant hole, but this math book has given us some things to jump on. <gasps> okay, yeah, that is a that is a giant hole. Okay, yeah, no, this is good. Um, I've never been more glad that there were floating um, division signs and numbers and all sorts of things that I would not expect. My head is swimming with math. There's just like numbers everywhere. All right. Um, Max, tell me what, what the deal is here. Watch out for the giant duck and apple boulders. <laughs> yeah, this is, whoa. Oh my gosh, I just saw an apple boulder. <gasps> what about the duck? Oh, there's the duck. Okay. So does that mean we have to go up here? Okay, let's, 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 let's stake out this situation. Okay. I think, <gasps> yep. See there, they're coming. They're both coming at the same time. That was a close one. All right, so I'm gonna run. Please run faster. Please run faster. What if they come? Okay, which which side are they gonna come out? Which? Okay, we're good. We're good. So we got a ducky on this side. Veer to the other side. We got an apple on this side. And veer. And veer. In case of a ducky. Veer in case of a ducky. Veer in case of a ducky. Oh, there's no ducky. Oh no, there's a ducky. Okay. Oh my gosh, almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, we're not safe until we get through the door. Get through the door. Get through the door. <gasps> okay. What's up, Max? We gotta go over this PE course. The coach has coated the floor with poisonous substances. Coach, oh my gosh. Coach, I am gonna give you an F. That's right, an F for a safety rating because I don't think that you should ever be coating the floor of the gym in poisonous substances just to try to get people to do your obstacle course because that's just, that's just not safe. I mean, I, I just, I think that this coach is probably gonna get fired, especially if the principal finds out what they have done, because this is just, this is just craziness. I mean, I'm still gonna do the obstacle course, obviously, and I'm gonna do my best to not fall on the poisonous floor, but I'm just a little bit disturbed that the poisonous floor even exists. All right, so we're gonna climb up these obstacles, jump down to the next one. This floor, well, it's a map, so it's not poisonous. So that's good at least. Oh, whoa, cool. Oh my gosh, I didn't even touch it. Can I do that again? Jump and grab, oh, no. not quite. Okay, so I feel like we're doing a pretty good job at the obstacle course so far. Just got to jump over these little posty. Oh no, oh no, oh, I died, so sad. All right, these things, this kind of reminds me of like horse jumping. I kind of feel like a horse right now. Okay, so we are, I think, almost completed this obstacle course. 
that's part of an obstacle course. It's like an obby within an obby. Sort of. <laughs> All right, so this is the next stage here. We need to hop down, hop down these poles, these like tree stumps or, oh no, oh no, no! Poisonous floor! Poor me. All right, don't worry guys, I'm totally fine. I've actually um, just come back to life here to finish, finish my, finish gym class. I'm not actually that dedicated to gym class. Like if I if I died in gym class, I don't think that I would make the effort to come back to life just to finish gym class. I think I want to do something else. All right, so what's the, what's the deal here? One of these lockers has a secret passageway. <gasps> but which one is it? Do I just run into lockers to find out? Yeah, I just need to fling myself against the wall enough times. Just like, fling myself against the wall. Just keep going until I find something. You know, I haven't found anything yet. Now I just look like a crazy person throwing myself against the wall. Can I, can I please, please just find, find a locker that opens? Yeah, no, I just look like a, I just look like I'm insane. I'm just taking a systematic approach. Just really checking out every single locker possibility because I think that one of these lockers, that locker is a slightly different color. <gasps> oh. I should have known. Whoa, how have we shrunk? We're inside a giant locker. Okay, we are inside of a giant disgusting locker, seriously. <gasps> There's so much gum and garbage in here. <gasps> this is not cool. I can't hang out in here. I might start to smell. Guys, if I'm inside of the locker for too long, do you think that I'm soon gonna start to get a little bit stinky? Oh no, I fell in the black sludge. <gasps> Why is there a layer of black sludge at the bottom of this person's locker? Like that is not a good sign. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure that I'm starting to smell. There might even be smell lines coming off of me right now. <gasps> oh no, the sludge. Thank God the sludge. All right, so I mean, but you guys would be honest with me. Like if I was starting to smell really, really badly, I really hope that one of you guys would take me aside and like really, really nicely just be like, hey, so, you know, this is not like, this is not a criticism of you as a person or anything, but I just wanted to let you know. It's kind of like when you've got something in your teeth and you kind of want somebody to tell you. It's a bit like that. Anyway, I'm pretty sure that I smell like garbage. All right, so um, we are going to go around the edge here. I'm glad that you guys are all such nice people and you would never make fun of me um, for smelling like my garbage locker because I know that you guys just care about my feelings and that makes, me, that makes me feel a lot better. It's good to have friends like you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna climb up this pencil and, what was that a, was that a dartboard? <laughs> no way, okay, <laughs> this person's so weird. It's like, okay, they've left their phone inside of their locker. Maybe they're not allowed them in class, but they've also put up a dartboard inside of their locker, which is strange. I mean, I've never seen it before. I think it'd be really fun, but also like maybe a little bit dangerous. If you're like trying to play darts in a crowded, in a crowded hallway. Okay, how do I get up to that next one? This looks like a big jump. Give it a go. Oh my gosh, I did it! No way! Yes! All right, we're killing it. Oh. All right, so I fell off that time. That's cool. We can totally do this again. All right, so time for darting. This is not working. Okay, if you guys. If you guys want to leave me some comments of support in the comment section right now so that I know that you believe in me, that I can get past these darts, that would probably help. It would probably, okay, I just fell again. Okay, this is, this is not going, this is not going well. Oh my gosh. Every time I fall, I get this feeling. It's just like a jar right through my heart. Every time I fall, it's true. I do it for you. A jar right through my heart. Something. Okay, this is not going well. Oh my gosh, I finally did it! <gasps> I can't believe I made it to the other end! Oh my gosh, and I've got Doritos as my reward! Except these Doritos look really, really old. Like, these Doritos look like they've been here for a long time. They look super stale and kind of not appetizing. Okay, whoever's locker this is really needs to clean things up. Okay, uh, what, what's up, Max? Um, you go first. Yeah, down there? You want me to go first, jumping down there? Okay, somebody's gotta be the brave one, so. All right. Oh my gosh, I'm half in the floor. Oh my gosh, I'm half in the floor. What's that sound? Guys, I think, does that sound like a dinosaur? This totally feels like Jurassic Park all over again. Where is it? Okay, um, 
Well, okay, so Max seems to think that I should go in science lab. I'm not sure that that seems like a great idea. Whoa, it looks like a science experiment has gone wrong and created this black hole thing. Yeah? Okay, that's the sky, and that looks like a um, revolving egg yolk. So this, there's not a dinosaur in here. There's something else going on. Okay, yeah, something has definitely gone seriously wrong inside of the science classroom. Okay, we need to get our safety equipment ready. Because I might be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that I saw a swirling green vortex right below me. Okay, so, see, there it is. That, that looks horrifying. Okay, so we need our safety equipment. I'm gonna need a help. I'm gonna need some safety goggles. Safety science goggles. Good. All right, so I feel a lot safer now. Not sure about you guys, um, but I feel like that I'm ready to take on anything. So bring it, swirling green hole of destruction. Still really hope I don't fall in it. Okay, that's cool. We are gonna get out of here. All right, so jump to the next thing. Oh, it looks so scary down there. It looks so freaky. No, don't fall, don't fall. No, I'm falling into another dimension. Hi guys, I'm back from another dimension. It was pretty freaky there. I'm not gonna tell you too much about what is happening in the other dimension because I don't wanna worry anybody, but I'm back now and that's that's really the most important thing. That noise is getting louder. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Okay, there's the exit. Those lasers look tricky. Yeah, they do and I died immediately. Okay, that is not how I wanted to start my time in the laser room. Let's try that again with an angle. Sometimes I forget that things are a lot easier to do if I just angle the camera up. This is my hot tip. If you're playing Roblox and you have trouble with levels like, levels like this, level, levels like this, where am I? Uh oh, All right, we're outside. Yes, we made it out, but we still gotta get down this rocky hill. Use a vehicle. Can we get out of the school? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that we got out of the school. Looks like a pretty nice building though. All right. So I'm pretty sure this is where I left my car. Um, valet, valet, I think that I left my car here a little bit earlier. Oh yeah, there we go. So that's my, that's my truck. That's my pickup truck. That's what I left here. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna ride down this rocky hill. Let's do it. Oh, no, oh, I'm, I'm on, oh no, no, I'm on the front of the car. Oh, this is so, this is so embarrassing. Okay, I just need to get into, oh my gosh, my car disappeared. <gasps> I hate it when this happens. This actually happened when I was at the mall the other day. Like I got out of my car and then I accidentally got on the roof of my car and then my car disappeared and everybody was staring at me and there were these two girls there that were not very nice and they were like, oh, Becky, did you see that? Her car just disappeared. And I was like, oh. don't make fun of me, Becky. Oh no, uh oh, uh oh, oh no, car accident, car accident. Oh, oh no. That was so sad. Okay, that's cool. I'm just gonna get another pickup truck because, um, you know, hopefully this one won't disappear. And Becky, if you're watching this right now, please don't make fun of my disappearing cars. Everybody has their own challenges that they need to face. Okay, um, oh no, oh, 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 I fell to pieces. <gasps> that was, that was horrible. That was genuinely a pretty good representation of why I'm afraid of cars. Like that is what, whoa, am I stuck in the back of the car? That was weird. Yeah, that's basically what I think is gonna happen anytime I get into a car. I'm like, it's gonna crash and it's gonna fall to pieces. Okay, so now I'm in my super sporty Roblox Jeep. It's kind of like a monster truck. Oh no, oh no, oh. Okay, this is like all of my worst car fears. Who brought the school bus? Can I just take the school bus? Do I really have to take my pickup car? Oh no, someone's getting out of the school bus. Oh, did you want to come with me? All right, Charizard, three, four, two, one. I'm warning you, I am not a good driver. So, oh no, uh, oh, oh, oh no, it's falling to pieces. It's falling to pieces. Okay, we both died. R.I.P. Charizard. R.I.P. Okay, he's back to he's he's back to life as well, which is good because I was gonna feel pretty bad about that car accident otherwise. So I'm just gonna take the pickup truck. You, yeah, you can do the monster team. Yeah. You can go Right behind you, buddy. Right behind you. Oh no, now I'm on top of you. Now I'm in front of you, falling to pieces and dying. Okay, yeah. All right. All right, pee me. Again. Okay, so Charizard's going with the pickup truck this time. I think I'm also gonna go with the pickup truck. Yeah, definitely gonna go with a pickup truck as well. And oh no. Oh my gosh, the cars are attacking each other. <gasps> pickup. Okay, down, down. Now they've caught on fire. Charizard is gonna be so mad at me. 
I'm really sorry. Oh no, now we've got a third pickup truck in the mix. Okay, can I? Oh no, I've been I've been knocked over. <laughs> so what do I do? Pickup truck or jeep? Let's try another pickup truck. I guess. Oh my gosh, I am so bad at driving. It's so true to life. Okay. <gasps> Whoa, that was a good one. <gasps> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Yes! <gasps> I made it! I made it! Charizard! Charizard, wait up! Wait up! Okay, I'm really sorry about the car crash. I know that you were also having trouble with the cars, but I'm sorry that I killed you. I feel really bad about it, so I'm just gonna chase you. I'm gonna chase you. We can make up if you want. I'm, I'm ready to apologize. Give you a big hug. If you want to slow down for just a moment or, you know, just hear my apology out. I'm really sorry! Hey! You know, oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm really, really sorry about the car accident thing. Just want to. Okay, he looks. He looks angry. He still looks really angry. Okay, so maybe I should just run away from him. <gasps> or we'll run together. Just please, please, Charizard, don't stay mad forever. Okay, we're almost here. We're almost at the end. We made it. Yeah, see, look, he's so happy. <gasps> we made it through the gates. We made it through the gates. Get the badge. Get the badge. And then we celebrate. Every time I fall, I get this feeling.